Hello and welcome along to Greyhound Gold. David Short and Peter O'Neill with you once again to talk WA Greyhound Racing. And Pete, a massive weekend upcoming. Really looking forward to seeing some of the rising stars of WA chasing on Saturday night in the Young Stars. Yep, the Young Stars on Saturday night. We see Campini return up against some of the best WA chasers. And we've got some real smart youngsters going around at the moment, as we have done over the last few years. So looking forward to having a look at Saturday's program. All right, well, let's start off, though, with the run of the week from last week. Of course, the feature was down there at Mandurah on Friday night, the chase final, over the 405 metres. And we saw the favourite from Box 7, Max Profit, but there was an upset because the dog drawn in box number one, he was a bit of a box one specialist as well, Doc Hudson. He gets out of the boxes nicely. And he, the key to the race is he's able to hold the rails, Pete. As he holds the rail through that first corner, uh, we can see Max Profit working overtime trying to keep up with Dog Hudson. Behind those, uh, Patria Manelli was a real eye-catching performance. It flashed to the line late. It might be one to follow in the coming weeks. But it was all Doc Hudson in the concluding stages. Too good for Max Profit, Patria Manelli, and go get him cracker. A nice effort back in fourth. But all honours for Friday night there with Terry Erinshaw and Doc Hudson. Well done to you, Terry. A fine trainer for many years. Does a great job, particularly with those 400 metre dogs, he just gets them firing. And great to see his family out there as well, Samantha and also uh, her, her brother and sister, they help around the kennels, help Terry out. He doesn't make it to the track, but he's got some really good lieutenants that uh, help out each and every night when they go to the track. Indeed. Well, let's get into the tips for this weekend. I'm kicking off with uh, race seven, number three, Friday night, Ballistic Blue. Like it for a couple of reasons. Last time out, went round for the first time over this distance, ran best of the night numbers, and also the fact that there's not a lot of early pace in this race means that we're going to see a nice clear run in the early stages for Ballistic Blue. I think that might be the key. And then I'm rolling out the flares, Pete, this weekend because uh, it's once again, it's a Molly Ringwald special from the pink rug in race four, number eight, Abba Manelli. 11 starts from box eight. Six wins and three placings. Absolutely loves getting around in the candy. You look good in the flares as well. <laughs> You're a bit of a candy I man. might need to try and borrow a wig, Pete. There's not a lot going on up here, but back in the day, Benny and Bjorn and the boys, maybe they could lend me a bit of their hair. Oh, I reckon you did okay yesterday at Ascot on Melbourne Cup Day with the flares out. And uh, we spoke of Doc Hudson. Great uh, training performance by Terry Erinshaw. I'm going with Max Profit on Friday night. There will be no excuses. Jumps from box number four. Vacant box on the outside is the best bet. It will be short, but just put the house on and remember uh, bet responsibly <laughs> all put, in the same sentence in the Pete. same sentence that's right put the house on and then the each way best is in race nine number one california dream i love uh, la love california driving along the beach there and uh, california dream for crystal shinners the californian lass uh, will be winning on an each way basis just see you down the front there pete at that gold's gym there on the beach just strutting around bit of the jesse the body ventura action uh, absolutely loving it that's a nice one on friday night let's head to saturday before we do though peter an important announcement and well I've been thinking about it. I've been looking at this moustache of yours and kind of thinking it's a little bit like when an AFL club opts for a, a ruckman as a first round draft pick it's just going to take a couple of years. Okay. Oh, we've got to be realistic with it. It's going to take a bit of time. As long as I've got time, sure. As long as I've got time. Uh, we started early. It's been a week into November. It's a very good cause. We've mentioned for mental health uh, issues, also for prostate cancer. And this week, I'm concentrating on testicular cancer. I'm glad you brought up the AFL message because Robbie Gray and also Jesse Hogan, two AFL stars, earlier this year were both struck down by testicular cancer. Lucky they had their checkup early and they were able to be treated and they're back with their AFL clubs now. And that's the important message. Go in, no matter what age you are, for the young boys and men out there, go in and have your checkup. Um, it doesn't take long, doesn't cost anything either, and it's all for a very good cause, and of course your health is very important. Yeah, it certainly is, Peter. That is a fine cause indeed, and if you happen to make a few bucks out of these tips, you can of course donate to the wonderful Movember cause. Hopefully we can find you another couple on Saturday night. Look, for my best bet, I'm going to probably the dog that's the form chaser in WA right now in bundles galore, drawn box number one on Saturday night. It was an epic performance last Saturday night. He is just chasing through brick walls at the moment. Love the way this dog goes about it. From the good draw, looks pretty hard to beat again on Saturday night. Race four, number one, bundles galore. And uh, I've been called a Muppet plenty of times, Pete, but I'm tipping one here. Race, <laughs> race three, number three, junkyard Muppet. Real, since this dog stepped up to 600 metres, has not put in a bad run. All three runs over the trip, first class. James Jeffries has got this dog ticking along beautifully at the moment. Just needs a little bit of luck in running. He's not a great beginner early, but geez, doesn't he wind up down the back? Hopefully 
hopefully he can be all over the top of them late on Saturday night as our value pick race three, number three, Junkyard Muppet. Yeah, James Jeffries does a wonderful job with his greyhounds, as does Paul Stewart and Campini's mm-hmm. back. This greyhound's been saved for the young stars, went off the scene for about three or four weeks. A flying machine will jump from box number three and race number seven, jump on the arm and will be too strong. So it will only get better into the final, but needs to qualify this week for the group three young stars. And I'm excited also to see here on uh, Saturday night at Cannington, we don't see it very often, is the old stage. They call me the old boy here at Cannington. Well, Morris Memory returns on Saturday night. Race 10, number eight, uh, drawn wide in the pink, a little bit of speed on the inside. He's won his last two in the Masters. He's chasing really well. John Iwanick does an outstanding job with greyhounds for a long period of time. And uh, they come out, he'll wag his tail on Saturday night uh, because he's so happy, and I think he can win as well. Yeah, and importantly, no rain on Saturday night. So when he gets around in the gopher, um, he's not going to get bogged down in the track, Pete, which is excellent news for the old boy. Good luck there with Morris on Saturday night. That's it. Greyhound Gold for this week. Thanks for your company. Good luck finding the winners.